The camp's mission is about creating, educating Jewish communities where people of all ages can learn to fall in love with Jewish life. There's, there's nothing parallel to what we do at Camp Ramah, and the impact in just two weeks or four weeks or eight weeks is so great. It really hits home and it sticks with kids all throughout the year, leaving them looking forward to the next year. Dr. Lieber founded Camp Ramah in California. One of the things that Dr. Lieber understood is that Ramah be a community that is open to everyone in the Jewish community and how important it is that we have a strong scholarship endowment. And he was such a wonderful um, person who brought people together to help everyone in the Jewish community. Welcome to the art room. After we step in, then you take this shot. And then a pillow. We made Shabbat tables, yeah. bracelet, and earrings. And earrings. Yeah. I'm making a gecko. Because God loves every life and every person, so um, I did the world as a heart, and it's and it has muscles because it's strong. Marvin was very, very close, and I was too, to Dr. David Lieber. And it's unfortunate that he isn't here today to see what else has been accomplished. And the important thing is, Marvin will tell you one other thing. He always said, Marvin always said, that Dr. Lieber, if there was such a thing as a saint, a Jewish saint, he would be the saint here on earth. You can't really describe Dr. Lieber. He is indescribable, irreplaceable. The scholarship fund is appropriate to be given in my dad's name because he saw the education of Jewish youth as one of the most important roles of, of the adult generation. He once told me that the rabbis felt that Judaism was a gift and that we should help kids understand it that way. The importance of Camp Ramah is twofold. One, it's a uniqueness. It's unique because it's not only a camp, but it takes children who may or may not have been exposed to Judaism, brings them into a camping environment and they walk away wanting to be Jews. All in white and everything, and it's just like a nice time for all for like the whole camp to come together and just sing together and celebrate. I don't know how to make challah, unfortunately. I come here and let them make it and I enjoy eating it. It is unbelievable. And just the way they make it, I think if I stood there for a couple of hours, I still wouldn't learn how to do it. One thing that Marvin surely understand is a commitment that we make to our community, which is that we want any child in the Jewish community who wants to come to Ramah to never be denied a Ramah experience because of financial reasons. Parents value the Camp Ramah experience more than ever in light of the economy. First of all, it gives children a very, very needed rest and time to relax and get out of their homes and just enjoy being at camp, enjoy playing sports and going swimming and being with friends. And all of the cultural aspects of our program are ones in which kids immerse themselves. <laughs>
The most powerful memory offered at camp is the relationships that people built with each other. When you ask campers, when you ask staff members, when you ask anybody, alumni even, what they remember most from camp, it's their friends, and it's the relationships that they built with each other. And the opportunity to feel connected um, in a social circle, and more importantly, as a Jewish people, is incredible. We need to make sure that Ramah is a place in the Jewish community where anybody in the Jewish community from the most needy in our community have a place, an equal place at the table, have an equal place at camp, have an equal place singing around the tables in the Chara Rochel at Camp Ramah in California. Thank you.